Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you all are having an awesome week so far, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Now, it was either last week or the week before I said I was going to do a video showing my TV series and cartoon series on DVD. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, I'm only going to be showing the retail DVDs that I bought. I'm not going to show the uh, bootleg editions. That's just not right. <laughs> so yeah, these are my cartoon series and TV series on DVD. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And you know what, we got some Blu-rays in there too, now that I'm looking. First up, one of my favorite shows of all time, MacGyver. Now this, uh, the first time I ever saw MacGyver is when I was living in Italy. It used to come on every Friday night. It's funny because sometimes MacGyver will come on every Friday night, and then after a couple months, Quantum Leap will come on every Friday night, so they kind of went back and forth. But yeah, the original MacGyver, this is the complete series, all 100, how many? 139 episodes. Awesome, awesome show. And I really like the fact that MacGyver did not like guns. He solved all his problems without using guns. And there's a huge glare. I'm sorry. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite series of all time. Um, I never get tired of watching MacGyver. It's actually, I haven't watched this in quite a while. I'm tempted to open it up and take a look inside here. Look at that. I don't want to drop everything, but yeah. So yeah, MacGyver, uh, I don't know how much that goes for now, but I think I paid 65 for that years and years ago. Alright, up next, uh, I don't have, some of these I don't have all the seasons either, so a lot of these I'm missing a season or two. But this next series is one my mom actually got me into. Go figure. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This series is called Once Upon a Time. It's basically, uh... All the uh, fairy tale characters are real. Uh, you have someone that stumbles into their uh, town. I can't remember what the town is. The show's been off for quite a while. Storybrook. She stumbles into the town of Storybrook where all those fairy tale characters are living and they've been put under a curse so they don't remember who they actually are. It's actually really good. So we have season one. We have season two. And I can't tell if there's a glare because this light is right in my eye. Season 3. We have Season 4. Of course, that's Elsa from Frozen. I don't know if there are 5, 6, maybe 7 seasons. I don't know, but I know I do not have all the seasons. But Once Upon a Time, really good show, man. Definitely check it out. And I'm not afraid to admit it's, it made me cry a couple times. <laughs> All right, this next show I had always heard about, but I never had any desire to watch it until I got bored and actually watched the pilot episode, and I got hooked. <laughs> Heroes, really good show about uh, just people who discover they have these supernatural, otherworldly powers. Each one has a different ability, so it's really pretty good. We got season one. We have Heroes Season 2, Season 3, and we have Season 4, and if you recognize that man on the cover, that is Theodore, a.k.a. T-Bag from Prison Break. Yes, he was in Heroes. Prison Break is another good show. I don't have any of those on DVD. Up next is another series my mom got me into. Man, Mama Beefcake is on a roll. We have Grimm. About a uh, cop who finds out he's a descendant of the Grimms. And he takes up the mantle of, I guess, uh, hunting down evil creatures, stopping them. And I, like I said, this has been off the air for quite a while now, maybe four or five years, maybe a little bit longer. But it was an awesome show, man. So, Grimm Season 1. Season 2. If I can hold on to it. Season 3. We have Season 4. And Season 5. Now, there was either 6 or 7 seasons. I can't remember. So, I don't have all the seasons. 
I actually bought my mom the collector's edition, which um, the main character had this book where he can look up all the different demons and how to stop them. So the collector's edition had all the seasons, and the box that, the box that it came in was made to look like the book. So I bought her that for Christmas one year. It was really badass. I should have uh, should took a picture of it. So yeah, Grimm is another great show, man. I definitely encourage you to check that out. Up next, we have a series that, I, when I lived in Italy, I would kind of see the intro to it, but I had a bedtime, so I wasn't allowed to stay up and watch it. Now that I'm older, <laughs> I watched it and I really enjoyed it. All except, I didn't enjoy the last season, but the first four seasons were awesome. 21 Jump Street, the series, not those crap-ass movies from Jonah Hill. Those movies suck. This is the real deal, the original. 21 Jump Street, Holly Robinson, Johnny Depp, Peter DeLuise, one of the DeLuise kids. But yeah, 21 Jump Street. The first four seasons are awesome. Last season, not so much. And like I said, much better than those awful Jonah Hill movies. Up next, we have one of my favorite series of all time. This one off the air in 99, early 2000, I believe. We have Michael T. Weiss in The Pretender. Now, The Pretender, Michael T. Weiss plays a genius named Jared, uh, if that's even his real name, who, as a child, was taken to a place called The Center. They use, their, they use his genius for, uh, we'll just say, not very good purposes. And once he escaped, he gets out, he's trying to find out who he is, who his parents were, all while on the run from agents of the center. And so every week, Jared, being the genius that he is, takes on the role of someone else. Like one day, he could be an Air Force pilot. The next week, he'll be an IndyCar driver. But each week, he's, he's kind of looking through the newspapers, finding things that just, like, people that just need help or cases that just don't make sense. He assumes the identity of someone and helps you know bring closure to the family, solve the case, do whatever needs to be done, all while on the run from the center, and all while I mean there's just so much going on. Then you have you find out as the series goes on what the center is really about, who the people in the center are, and there's twists and turns and shocks. Uh, Pretender is freaking awesome, man. One of my favorite series of all time. Definitely check this out. This is definitely worth your time. So we have the Pretender season one. We have season two. We have season three. And the final season. Now, the final season, the last episode of season four ended on a cliffhanger. Unfortunately, the series was canceled. And then they came out with two movies, which are right here the Pretender movies, that tried to pick up where the series left off, but. I really wasn't a fan of the movies. The last movie even ended on a cliffhanger where Jared finally finds his his birth mother and then it ends on a cliffhanger and you don't know what the heck happens. So yeah, uh, if anyone involved in The Pretender is watching, please, man, we need closure. Please. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, definitely check out The Pretender. Uh, this next one is a show I never watched while it was on. I watched it years later after it went off the air and I actually ended up really enjoying it. Terminator, the Sarah, the, blah, 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 the Sarah Connor Chronicles, say that five times fast. We have season one and season two. This one ended on a cliffhanger too. The last episode of season two ended on a cliffhanger. Uh, it's been years since I've watched it, but I want to say either um, I want to say they went to the future and no one knew who John Connor was, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that. If I am, let me know. But it ended on a huge cliffhanger and then that was it. So, uh, yeah, this was an awesome show. Terminator, the Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor Chronicles. Good Lord. Man, there's a whole section of video that needs to be edited, but we won't. This next series only lasted one season and it was really, really good. It's called Last Resort. Now, um, I guess explaining it from the back will do, but I can explain it better by reading it. The U.S. ballistic submarine Colorado sits 500 feet below the Indian Ocean. When orders come in to fire nuclear missiles at Pakistan, 
Captain Marcus Chaplin and XO Sam Kendall both question the, 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 the I can't read today. Both questioned the legitimacy of the order and asked for confirmation, but instead received missile fire from another U.S. submarine. Left for dead at the bottom of the ocean, the Colorado finds refuge on an exotic island. As troops come toward the island, the members of the crew must work to clear their names and find out who was involved in a conspiracy of nuclear proportions. Only last one season, Andre Brower, Bauer, Lord help me, I can't remember your name. Andre Brower, excuse me, Robert Patrick, the T-1000 were in this movie, or in this series. Very good series. Unfortunately, it only lasted one season, but the last episode did wrap everything up, but you could tell it was rushed, and it kind of seemed like they expected to keep going after one season because everything was just wrapped up so fast, and it just you could tell it was rushed, that last episode. But Last Resort, awesome, awesome series. A shame it only lasted one season. Up next is a cartoon I used to watch uh, actually after school sometimes. Uh, my brother and I would sit here and watch it. I think I enjoyed it more than he did. King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. If you have not heard the theme, opening theme song to King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, it is freaking awesome. Uh, if you watch my Saturday Night Horror videos, uh, months and months and months ago at the very end where it would say next week and I reveal the movie that was a cover to the theme song for uh, King Arthur and Knights of Justice cartoon is kinda goofy but I think it's awesome man it's goofy and awesome at the same time if that makes any sense definitely check out King Arthur and Knights of Justice I don't know how much this is going for now I bought it for $9.99 brand new next up we have a series Another one that I did not watch while it was on, I only got this a few years ago, Surface. Uh, about a young boy who finds an egg and brings it home and it hatches a creature and that's all I can remember because it's been, it's, I watched it when I first got it and haven't watched it since. It was okay, it wasn't the greatest series in the world, uh, only lasted one season, I can see why, but yeah. Uh, I mean, there wasn't really anything fantastic about it. Alright, up next we have one of my favorite animes of all time. I'm not a huge anime person. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Ronin Warriors. Now, I don't know if this is the entire series or not. It just says Ronin Warriors. It doesn't say whether it is. Uh, it's got 39 episodes, so that... Yeah... I think these were made on bootleg DVDs and sold as retail, but this is awesome, man. This is freaking awesome. Uh, definitely check this out if you're an anime fan. This used to come on after school in the summertime, and I remember it because for like two weeks in a row, you would have bananas and pajamas, and then Rona Warriors. Then another two weeks, you have bananas and pajamas, the Sailor Moon. Then it would go back to Rona Warriors, then it would go back to Sailor Moon. So yeah, we used to watch this after school. We're almost done, folks, I promise. Up next is one of my favorite TV series of all time, which only lasted, one, was it one season? Yeah, one season, 13 episodes. And it ended on a cliffhanger, of course. It was a freaking awesome show, and I really wish someone would pick it up, man. Netflix, hello. Terra Nova. Now, set in the future, uh, to begin with, it's in the future. Uh, the Earth's resources have been used up. You have to wear breathers to even go outside because the, quality, the air quality is horrible. People have found out time travel, and they're going back, you know, millions of years in the past, the age of dinosaurs, to kind of start over. But not everyone can go. It's like, uh, I can't remember how they do it. But anyway, I'm not going to spoil too much. They go back in time, they try to start over, they run into same, some of the same problems they have in the future. It's awesome, man. Yes, there are dinosaurs. And you know me, if there's dinosaurs, I'm automatically interested. But Terra Nova was freaking awesome. Um, definitely should have got more than one season. And I used to watch this when it came on, man. I loved it. I still love it. So definitely check out Terra Nova. The DVD, um, I paid $9.99 for this. I don't know how much it goes for now. I've had this for quite a while. 
it might still be cheap. All right, the last couple ones here. Uh, we have another one that only lasted one season. I actually used to watch this with my mom. We have John Malkovich in Crossbones. He plays Blackbeard, or so you're made to think. You don't know if he really is Blackbeard or not. He claims to be Blackbeard. Everyone around him claims he's Blackbeard. So yeah, kind of a uh, back of the days of the Pirates. Definitely check it out, man. Uh, <sighs> it's a shame, man. A lot of these really good shows only lasted one season or two seasons, but you have these crap-ass reality shows like, you know, Housewives of whatever random city they're in or Survivor that, you know, they're in, they last forever and ever, and it, and it sucks. The good stuff gets canceled and the crap lives on. Speaking of, <laughs> another series that only lasted one season, I, I remember watching it when it was on, and I'll, I'll watch it right now, man. I never get tired of it. The River. This is like a horror, sci-fi, thriller series. Um, going along the Amazon River and some weird crap starts to happen. Uh, paranormal, voodoo, ghosts, demons, all that kind of stuff. The River is freaking awesome, man. Uh, like I said, only lasted one season, unfortunately. Ended on a cliffhanger, of course. But yeah, man, it definitely deserved more than one season. The River was awesome. All right, the last of it right here. This is my favorite cartoon when I was living in Italy. I used to watch this every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning we get up at 6 a.m. and watch cartoons and this was the one we waited for. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Not the Nickelodeon crap that comes on now. The original 80's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Unfortunately I do not have all the seasons. I've got season one. Season 2, and Season 3. Now I did order the complete series off a questionable website years ago, I offer. It was, uh, it was all the seasons. They were not in order. They, the episodes were completely out of order, and it was in Dutch. But the guy passed it off as a legit copy, so I, I got my money back, and... He's probably still scamming people. But yeah, Ninja Turtles, man. This was the main event for Saturday morning cartoons. Ninja Turtles, that's the one we waited for. Uh, I can't say enough good things about Ninja Turtles. I had the, watched the cartoons every Saturday. Had almost all the toys, which unfortunately most of them were lost when we moved back here from Italy. Don't know what happened to them. They're probably at the bottom of the ocean somewhere. Who knows? Or someone stole them. Ah. Uh, Man, have all the movies, I had posters, puzzles, t-shirts, I even dressed up as a freaking Ninja Turtle for like three years, and all three years I lived in Italy, I was Raphael for Halloween. Man, uh, I just can't uh, express enough how much Ninja Turtles made an impact in my life, it was freaking awesome, man. But that is it guys, those are the retail version, the retail DVDs of TV series, cartoon series I have. Man, uh, anyone else would have restarted this video because I can't talk today for some reason. But yeah, that was it, man. Like I said, a lot of these really good shows just lasted one or two seasons and it's a shame because you see all these good shows that get canceled. Oh, you know what? I forgot one. I almost forgot one of my favorite shows. I had it to the side here because I had to build a wall to keep Bella from getting behind the TV and the cords and I almost forgot it. Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite series of all time. Viper. You may not remember it, but it was a Dodge Red Dodge Viper that would transform into the Silver Viper Defender and it had weapons, it had missiles, machine guns, static charges, grappling hooks. Freaking awesome, man. Viper. Premiered in 93, disappeared after one season, two years later came back. Went four seasons all together and it was just awesome, man. It's, a lot of people say it's cheesy now and it may be, but I freaking love it, man. I absolutely love Viper. I actually didn't know this was on DVD until two months ago 
for years I have been trying to find a DVD set of this and it wasn't available there it just wasn't on DVD two months ago I just said what the hell I'll google it to see if it is and lo and behold it was 2018 I think is when it came out on DVD the box set I never bought anything so fast in my life folks <laughs> Viper so now yes now we are officially done that is it I promise there's nothing else left so yeah like I was saying these good shows that get it's a shame that some of these really good shows get canceled early and then you have the crap that just keeps going on forever man like I said the housewives of whatever random city they're in that week survivor big brother and all these talk shows and stuff it's a shame but when I want to watch TV shows honestly most of the time I just go watch the old stuff I don't watch a lot of TV these days because every time I turn on the TV it's either coronavirus this coronavirus that or somebody trying to convince you that everything in the world is somehow racist and I get tired of hearing it man it's like ugh. I just get so tired of hearing the the nonsense so I watch the old shows because quite frankly they're a lot better than the crap we get on TV now so anyway I didn't mean to end that with a rant but it is what it is hope you guys enjoyed this video this little look in my collection I don't know what the next round of video will be uh, I'll come up with something <laughs> so anyway everyone appreciate y'all watching hope you have an awesome week awesome weekend uh, next video will be Saturday Night Horror definitely excited for that Thanks for watching, everyone. Y'all take care.